Hey there ladies, welcome back to Final Fantasy VI with your boy Danny. And last time, we were introduced to the greatest JRPG of all time. Now in the introduction, we met a lot of characters off the bat. One of them being the green haired beauty, Terra, who had a slave crown on her head when we first met her because she was working with two agents of the Empire, Wedge and Biggs, formerly known as Vix. But these two agents of the Empire, along with Terra, were sent to Narsh, where we are now, to locate a frozen esper said to be found in the mines. Now, when we made it to Narsh, we ravaged the town with our powerful Magitek armor, destroying the people and the buildings and even the doggies. Now, after we made it through the mines, we found the esper, and from then on, we lost the most important characters in Final Fantasy VI, Wedge and Biggs. Shout out to Wedge and Biggs, rest in peace by the way. But more importantly, Terra reacted very strangely towards this Esper. After reacting to the Esper, a blinding light happened and an old man rescued Terra, taking off the slave crown on her head, and the people of Narsh were still upset with her after destroying everything, so they chased her through the caves and she got wounded. Luckily, our treasure hunter, Lockheer, was there to rescue the day along with the help of the Mughals. Now we're headed towards Figaro Castle to meet with the king. So one thing I forgot to mention, in the menuing, if you go to configure, you can have some fun down here at the bottom. You can actually change how the menu looks, like even just like to whatever color you want. There's even this funny one right here that's a Kokobo. And in the speedrunning community for Final Fantasy VI, there's so many there's this awesome donation drive for um good taste or for the demon chocobo. Sorry, just needed a swig of water. Now the demon chocobo, I I'm not I don't know how to make it, but it's definitely a thing. It's like black pink. It's a very horrific sight to always look at. And the speedrunners hate it. But that's another thing you can do in the menu. It's some menu fun. Let's get one swig of ooh, and ma make our way out of this dump of an arsh. But for those who are interested, there are other versions of this game. There is the GBA Game Boy Advance remaster and the PlayStation remaster, you could say. To me, the Super Nintendo version, the one I'm playing on now, is superior in every way, from Ted Woolsey's translation, the audio chip in the system, and the visuals. In the PlayStation version, they edited the sound effects and art into horrifying disappointments. The GBA just doesn't have the best audio, but if you don't have a SNES or emulator for it, I would just play that version. It even has some extra content in it. But for now, let's get out of this dump. So here's the world map. This is how it looks. We don't have a world map theme yet. We're still stuck with the Narsh theme, which is super good though. Yeah, baby girl. Let's make our way downtown. Make our way downtown. Here's our first world map encounter. And it's a leafer. Oh, look how cute he is. I know what you're thinking. He's a cute little bunny. But actually, the leafer is the cabbage that's eating the cute little bunny alive. Yeah, get that image out of your head. You're welcome. Anywho, we freaking won and we're looking good with Black and Terra. Here we go. I wonder how the king is. I wonder if he's just some old wise man like kings normally are. This nice little forest here. A desert? Hmm. The, the castle better not be built in the freaking desert. That's the worst place to build a castle. How do you even build a castle in the desert? There's sand everywhere. If the ground is not stable. It makes no sense to build a castle in the desert, right? What? Well, I was wrong, I guess. Ah, Figaro Castle. Wait! Hey, oh, it's you. You can proceed. Yeah, I'm Swagmaster 3000. Hey, look at those. These guards have chocobos. Chocobo Loco Boco. Shout out to the Final Fantasy IX playthrough. Here we are. Uh, we have this awesome theme. This castle theme. Whoa, look at all these generators. There's a lot of sand everywhere, but it's fine. Some nice suits of armor. A little bit empty, if you ask me. Do, do, do. Whoa, is that the king? 
He looks kind of young. Hey, what's up? You mean this young woman? Ooh, I like what I see. Who do you think you are? Oh, sorry. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady. I like this guy. The young king of Figaro Castle, ally to the Empire, and a master designer of machinery. It looks like he's flipping us off right now. He's like, hey, check this out. <laughs> this is Edgar. I love this guy. He's a super cool character. And you're going to hear me say that about every character, basically. I There's not a single character in this game, in this Final Fantasy, that I dislike. Unlike in Final Fantasy IX, which has a lot of cool characters, but then there's Quina, right? But this game, I promise you, all the characters are super cool. So this is King Edgar of Figaro. I am Edgar, King of Figaro. Surprised someone like me knows a king, huh? Yeah, 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 that was a good one, yeah. Talk to you later. No, Locke, where are you going, my hero? So, you're an Imperial soldier. No problem. Figaro and the Empire are allies. Please, relax, relax while you're here. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Look, why are you helping me? Is it because of my abilities? Nah, uh, uh I'll give you three reasons, my love. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if you're my type. If I'm your type, sorry. I guess your abilities would be a distant third. What? Huh? What's with you anyway? Uh, I uh, guess my techniques are getting a bit rusty. <laughs> he was trying to flirt with her. Hmm. I suppose a normal good would have found him dashing. But I'm hardly normal. Oh, Tara, please. You're hurting me. Alright, so we're allowed to just walk around the castle freely. Feel free to wander about. Thanks. I guess you trust an Imperial soldier like me already. So I don't think we can go on the backs here. Nah. Making my way around the castle. Walking slow. Guards pass by. I'm homebound. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, dude. Don't stop. Look, now you press the dislike button. What do I have to do to make you press the like button nowadays? Do I have to get this phoenix down? I nope. You didn't press the like button. Still, it's a tough crowd out here in the YouTube community to get a like out here. Look at this view. Will this view get me a like? No. Tara will get me a like though. Jeez. Anywho, hope you all are having a fantastic day. Uh, thanks for joining me in episode 2 if you watched episode 1. If you're just a, a fan of my content, fan of the, the Love Squad, or just a fan of Final Fantasy overall, hopefully you stick around with me. We got a nice soft here to cure petrification, and we have some shops here in Figaro Castle. Well, we got some money. Uh, it's uh, the normal daily uh, items you can buy. We got a nice tent, got some sleeping bags. We have a lot of sleeping bags, actually. Uh, we're probably going to need... We, there's no potions, but I'm going to get two tonics. Because we've been using them up. This game is actually quite difficult. It's one of the more... Since it's an old school RPG, it's pretty difficult. Going to buy one antidote. And, uh... Tents are expensive out here, jeez. I think that'll be all for now. Maybe I'll be back. Here I go, oh yeah, look at me, I'm green-haired and beautiful. What's up, buddy? What you got? Whoa, we got an auto crossbow. We already own one. I wonder who's going to use this. We got a noise blaster, confuses enemies. Nice, I'll take that. Bio blaster, super, super good as well. Let's take that. All right, got some tools. Those are known as tools, by the way. Got a nice tonic. And an antidote. Didn't need to buy them. There's one mistake on Daniel's notebook. Uh, nothing else here. Let's uh, keep making our way down here. Hey, buddy. It doesn't look like it, but this castle incorporates some of the most high-tech devices in existence. For example... Oops. They're all top secret. Yeah, that's right. Um, like I was saying with the leafer, though... 
uh, the Japanese version of, on like the Super Famicom version of Final Fantasy VI, uh, the pixel art and the drawings are actually a lot more uh, explicit and a lot more gory and stuff. Uh, they show a lot more nudity as well compared to the American and other countries' versions. And like the remasters, they toned down on it as well. Long ago, a force called magic existed. People who used magic were called mage knights. Huh. So am I a mage knight? Scholars the world... Scholars... Scholars the world over are doing research on magic. Silly people, scholars. <laughs> you need to go to English class, I think. Jesus. Going down the stairs, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't even want to be out here. Hey, it's Kokobo. This is for Garo, the desert cat. All right. This is for... What? Oh, you... No. Oh, holy crap! Look at the ground! I didn't notice! There's sand! No shit, we're in a- Motherfucker. You- How dare you disrespect my intelligence! I'm a young, green-haired, independent woman! You don't know me! You don't know me! Do I know me? I just walked out of the castle! Fuck. <laughs> hey! Hey, you- Yeah, yeah, it's me. Yeah, that's right. You better let me in. Anywho. We're back in Fugaro, everyone. Welcome back. <laughs> We're making our way around the castle. Walking slow. Guards' faces pass. I'm not homebound. I don't know where my home is, dude. Need a rest. No! I'm trying to talk to these cuties, though. Though Edgar showers his attentions on women, most are too smart to pay any attention. <laughs> oh, jeez, that sucks. <laughs> that's, that's bad. He's like the typical ladies' man. He recently tried to hit on the high priestess. Surely he's talk to you <laughs> uh, <laughs> all the women here are funny get out the way get out the way though because I'm a cutie with a booty going down the stairs oh this will lead me outside again won't it whatever dude I don't care I'm in my red unitard what are you gonna tell me that the castles a desert oh you're a s screw you dude Motherfucker. going through the castle what the heck's up here hey little girl you're, you're running around a little too much. Stop it. Stop it. Let me let me speak to you. St Holy. His highness said he'd marry me. <laughs> Holy crap, Edgar. You're <laughs> He's that desperate out here in the hood. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. All right. This game, this game, by the way, it has a really good sense of humor. Like at random moments, you're going to see it. It's actually awesome. Matron. Edgar has a twin brother. He was such a nice boy. What happened to his twin brother? Oh, this theme. Ooh, youth. Brother, what's wrong with father? What's all this talk of his successor? Are you blind? Look how thin his face has become. What? What? What is it? You fool. Brother! Tears? Why is he crying? Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. I love that one. I love that one. This theme though. Oh, that flute. This is Sabin, one of my favorite characters of all time. He has one of the best abilities and just his whole character. He traded the throne for his freedom. Oh, it gets me right in the heart, dude. But this is Sabin. Super cool guy. Everyone's gonna love him. Yes, his name is Sabin. Oh, he looks so like his father. When he ran away, he was sweet. He was a sweet little child. I wonder what he's like now. Huh, I wonder if I'll ever meet him. So, uh, in order to proceed with the plot, you actually have to do that theme, or that section, sorry. You have to talk to that woman and have that little cutscene happen. But now we can go back and speak to Edgar, I believe. Yeah, in the town of Figaro. Actually, it's a castle. Oh my. Did I go in here? Yeah, that's the ladies' room. Did I go in the other room? I, I swear there's more rooms in this place. I'm not a liar. St stop it. Stop looking at the dislike button. I went down there. Ah, I guess I did go everywhere. 
I'm thinking of somewhere else, probably. I can't wait till we get sprint shoes. No, there, there is another place. There is another place. There's all these rooms. Yes, this is what I was thinking of. Jeez. It's like I haven't played the game before. Here we go. Nice clock. No elixir, though. It's only those, uh, father clocks. These thieves have been terrorizing the vicinity. Stay away from them. Oh, I'm going to torture some thieves. Hey, hey, come over here. Hey, let us out of here. Hey, look at the- Hey, check out my booty real quick while you're in the- Yeah, you like that? Yeah, you like it. You like it real good. Hey. Alright, he's- he's uh, he's not as feisty. Are you feisty? Relax. They're just blowing off steam. But I'm telling you, there's no sense keeping us here. We're just small potatoes compared to the real threat looking out there. And King Edgar knows it. Me. Is that a werewolf? <laughs> Whoa! You talk to me right now. You're a werewolf. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm a cutie. I'm a hottie with a body. Oh, whatever. Dude. Whatever. You don't want me. To, you don't want to talk to me. I want to talk to you. So, uh, Edgar's keeping some thieves in here. Probably for the Empire. Why is Edgar a fan of the Empire? Hey, old man. You like? Beyond is the Figaro Castle engine room. The engine room. Why would a castle need an engine room? We're ready to leave at a moment's notice. Huh. I want to check it out. That's dangerous. What do you mean that's dangerous? Me walking near some steps? Thanks for warning me, I guess. But, but, are you, really, dude? Are you, screw you, dude, you don't tell me what to do. All right, all right, old man, whatever, screw you, dog. Fuck it, fuck you, dog, I'm getting in there. All right, whatever, dude, you're lucky I don't have sprint shoes, because I'll, mm, I'll, mm, mm, you're lucky. We're going to go talk to Edgar. He's, uh, I'm attracted to him now. Look at my hair swing back and forth, you like that? Yeah. I know you like that. Hello, Chancellor. The whole business of the secession was so repugnant to Sabin, the king's brother, that he fled the castle forever. The secession was settled with a coin toss. Oh, yeah, that, that's awesome. They just literally did a coin toss and decided who was king. It's crazy. Whatever, dude. I don't care what the Empire is doing. I hate the Empire. Hey, hey where, where did you go? Can I be your queen? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, how do you like my castle? Does it get you moving? Edgar, someone from the Empire is here to see you. Probably Kefka. Here's Kefka's theme, everyone. Oh, this part's so good. He's such a good villain. Pooey! Emperor Gustav's stupid orders! <laughs> Edgar, you pinhead! Why do you have to live in the middle of nowhere? That's what I was saying, Kefka. These recon jobs are the pits! Ahem, there's sand on my boots? Oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry, sir. Oh, I'll clean them up for you. Uh, there you go. Oh. Yes, sir. All set, sir. <laughs> there's that laugh. I love that laugh. Idiots! Sir Kefka, what on earth do- Out of my way, imbecile! <laughs> he just pushes- <laughs> just pushes him. Oof. Oh, I control Edgar here. What do you want? I thought we were allies. What are you doing in my domain? Get out of here! You're being bit- You've been busy in the south, looking for more cities to destroy, huh? That's for us to know. Oh, this theme. What brings Kefka, humble servant of Emperor Gestal, into my lovely, lowly presence? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. Who would have told him that? Hmm, this wouldn't have anything to do with this witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies! She merely stole something of minor value. Is she, uh, is she, is she here? That's a tough one. You see, there are more girls here than grains of sand that are out there. I can't keep track of all of them. I'd hate to be you if we found out you're lying. <laughs> I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. Come, troops. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that guy. I hate him. Hey, Locke. I say that guy's missing a few buttons. Where's Terra? I'm here. Hey, take her to her room. I'd love to chat with you, but the Chancellor and I must plan our strategy. 
Sometimes, I hate being a king, if you'll excuse me, my love. Ah, he's so charming. Follow me, my love. Actually, at Locke, I, I have to talk to you about something. Um, I've, I've wanted to say this ever since I met you. I, um, I, I think you're really cute. What the heck, Locke? How'd you, why'd you just push me out the way? Did you, did, all, did you guys see that? I was about to express my love towards Locke. Now you guys have to change all your OTPs. There's no relationship between Locke and Terra anymore. What is he, what is he doing? Is he, is, it's like he's acting like he's trying to rescue me or something. Trying to save me from the Empire. What an asshole. Jeez. How could you deny such a beautiful woman like me? Hey, Cocobo Loco. Ah, I miss Boko. I miss Choco. Jeez. Choco smoking them Gasol greens. Hey, I didn't, I didn't like how you blew me off back there, Locke. Don't you worry about a thing. <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing. Ow. You're Locke, right? Edgar told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? That's treasure hunter. All right, woman. Jeez. On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. The truth is, he's collaborating with the Returners, an organization opposed to the Empire. Ah, okay. I am his contact with that group. Ooh, nice. The old man you met in Narsh is one of us. Empire? But I'm a soldier of the Empire. That's not true. They were using you. Things are different now, Terra. I, I don't understand. What should I do? I can't tell you what to do, honey. You don't have... You don't have to decide right now. You'll soon find your way. Oh, Locke. You're as charming as he is. I'm so upset you blew me off. But how will I know which way is right? Huh? What's that smell? Huh? What the? What the heck? Who, who did? Who burnt down my castle? What's happening? It's the Empire. It's Kafka. You mother! What are you doing? Oh! Fire! Fire! <laughs> <laughs> Bring me the girl now! I don't know what you're talking about, you crazy maniac! Then, welcome to my barbecue! <laughs> you crazy maniac! Get ready! Yes, sir. Change your mind? I guess I have no choice. Or maybe I do! See you later, fuckers! Ack! Shameful that a king should flee, leaving his people behind! How utterly delightful! Jump! Woo! Yo, we're so cool! We got Kogobos! Okay, dive now! Yahoo! What? What's happening? Figaro Submerge Mode activated! No one can touch the people of Figaro! And there you have it folks, that's why he built his castle in the desert. Makes sense now. <laughs> he's just... he's done. Go! Get them! Uh oh. Run, Chocobo! Holy Magitek armor. Here we go. Look at me, curse my butt. Look at my right butt cheek and kiss my left one as well right now, yeah. So, Edgar, he has all these tools. He has the tool technique. Locke's dead! <laughs> Alright, here we go, everyone. Alright, so we gotta get his dumbass up. Phoenix down, on him, 
So we're fighting mad. So that, that's how the Magitek armor looks. Like, that's the official art of a Magitek armor. It looks freaking awesome. Metal kick! Jesus. Jesus. Alright. Potion on him. Don't you dare hit. Thank you. Okay. So, um, also, another thing I noticed, uh, from the first episode in the recording, you can see my hand here when I'm selecting, but when I multi-target, the, the hands I see on screen, they're flashing one frame at a time, and the capture actually can't detect them. So you can't see that I'm multi-targeting, but this is what that means when you see that. Just so you know. What? Huh? What's going on? Edgar, what's the matter? You look positively spooked. Did, 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 did you just see what I saw? Huh? Uh, what? Yeah, this kid seems loaded for bear. She's amazing! That was magic! M M A G I C! What? M M M M magic? She used magic? Tara, where on earth did you learn that? Um, sorry, I, um... <laughs> Look, I didn't mean to make such a big deal of this. Me either. It's just, I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you... Edgar, Tara can use magic, and we can't. That's the only difference between us. She's also a woman. A very attractive woman. The fact is, we could use your help! Thank you, Locke! Thank you, Edgar! Let's do this. Oh, that wink! Oh, she winked at him! Oh, and they loved it! Ooh. <laughs> see, this is the humor I'm talking about. Stop swooning! Alright, see, that's, that's the humor I was talking about. Like, they just do funny stuff like that. So we're going to use the noise blaster to confuse these freaking people because they're super strong. Holy crap, did you hear this theme? Look at me, did you know I like it when you shake it back and forth like the Mr. Magitek? Go ahead and shake your bigger booty to the jiggy beat. Did you go, Mr. Magitek? Uh, 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 uh. So we confused them. So let's try and steal and use Bio Blaster. So they're going to actually start shooting each other like that. And he killed his own friend. That was amazing. Stole a tonic. Alright, so let's keep burning them up. I'm using the tools. But, um, oh, easy money. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Bravo, Figaro! But yeah, that's the humor I'm talking about. They'll do that all the time. It's awesome. See you later, loser. Son of, son of a submariner! They'll pay for this! <laughs> oh, man. This is great! Was that a bad person? I... I'm scared. Tara, there's someone I'd like you to meet. We're members of the Returners. Our mentor, Bannon, would certainly like to meet you. Magic is going to be the key to winning this war. Magic. Tara has magical powers. That Esper seemed to react to her. Can there be some connection? I haven't the foggiest. It just seems natural to me that I have to use of this power. But no human is born with the powers you seem to have, and... Uh... I apologize. What should I do? I'm sure the Empire is going to come after you. If they get their hands on you again, the world's finished. Terra, you want to understand your own powers, right? Then I think we need to consult with Bannon. This theme, this theme is called Awakening. But to me, this is Terra's true theme. Whenever Terra has to make a tough choice or decision throughout this game, it always plays this theme for her. So to, in my opinion, this is Tara's true theme. And it's a beautiful theme. I love this part, actually. Please. Okay. To the south of here, there's a cave that leads to South Figaro. And we're on a Kokobo. So th this is how it looks to be on a Kokobo. This is actually the only... T like, Final Fantasy VI is the only view 
uh, that like it's the only game Final Fantasy game that has this view when you're on a Kokobo. We don't have the Kokobo theme sadly, but uh, we have this beautiful awakening theme. But we can run around. I don't think there's anything around. No, there's nothing around. So we just have to go to the south here. And I think I'm going to end the episode right here. So, uh, we've learned some stuff. We've met the uh, one of the enemies, Kefka. And he's. we've learned the humor of this game. How do I get off? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but the Kokobos run off in this game. But when you're on the world map, you're also allowed to save. So, I'm going to save you here. Thanks for watching as always. And I will see you all next time.